Hi, I'm Kat, and this is our Daily Tarot. I'm going to try something new today uh, because I'm, I've been having some difficulty uploading my videos onto Instagram, and I'm thinking that it's because some of the cards show people that don't have clothes on. <laughs> and so um, if I have a card that has some kind of flesh exposed that some higher powers that be might consider inappropriate. I'm just gonna uh, explain it rather than show the card and hopefully I'll be able to jump through this riddle of why I haven't been able to upload anything onto Instagram. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into today's tarot. The opening card that we have for today is a card that we've had showing up for a couple of days. It's actually the card that I think is the reason why I haven't been able to upload my videos onto Instagram. It is the judgment card. Now the judgment card as our opening card for the day is that we're actually starting to feel this boiling point of transformation. And in this card, as we've seen in the last couple of days, if you've seen me on YouTube, or if you just listen to me explain them, there's three coffins and a person who's a male figure is coming out of one coffin. He is kind of grayscale flesh. Uh, there's a child that's in the center coffin and then a woman or female figure on the other side who is also depicted as being naked and then they're all being kind of coming up out of these box-like contraptions and above them is an angel that is calling them out of this darkness with this trumpet with this music this uh and it's this divine transformation it's a divine shift and consider that we've had pluto which this card represents i almost showed it i'm glad i didn't i could have screwed up the whole video um Pluto is this energy of transformation, which is what this card rules. And we've had the planet of Pluto sitting in Capricorn. So where there's been a lot of transformation in our lives, as far as how we are out in the world, what our reputation is out in the world, what our career path and our life path is out in the world has been under a lot of transformation, especially in the last year and a half, almost two years since we had that really big, uh, major conjunction which is called a stellium in astrology in Capricorn and so we've had a lot of upset we've had a lot of change and over the coming months we're going to have Venus coming into this area as well and bringing a sense of compassion and understanding to this transformation and change that we're all going through but with this as our opening card it's like we're starting to feel called out of the darkness we're starting to feel a new skin that we are uh, stretching out of that we were growing out of and feeling our new skin under the soft warmth of the morning sun and so we're feeling a new beginning we're feeling a new morning and, a, and an awakening and it's a realization that once we see these things there's no going back you can't go back to the life that you were before you had this transformation you know like an adult can't go back to being a child or a teenager you know someone who is elderly can't go back to being in their youth. And so it, it reminds us that we're under this constant flux of change and transformation and that it's really important to uh, relish ourselves in every moment of the change. The challenge that we are facing today is actually the Ace of Wands. Now the Ace of Wands showing up as a challenge is that we actually have this sense of new beginning. We have this sense of epiphany, but perhaps we aren't quite sure how to actualize it. And the way that we're going to get through the challenge is the three of pentacles. This is the master craftsman. This is the person who is sh standing up and showing the world and the people around them how to do things because they have a level of quality around how they show up and what they bring to the table. So consider that the way that we actually start this process of this new beginning is putting our hands into action, putting our minds into making a material reality out of this idea and this sense of calling that we have felt drawn to actualize. Now, the overall energy of the day, the overall outcome for the day, I, I uh, would rather say, is the nine of wands. So we have another wand showing up and the nine of wands is a figure that is standing kind of looking over his shoulder. He has one wand in his hand and there's eight wands behind him. And this is a person, if you look at them, they look like they've kind of been through quite a bit. And so it's a completion of something. It's, it's reminding us to look at what we've 
done. Like look at where some of our willfulness has taken us and where it's possibly beaten us up a bit. And um, because we can see that this person does look a little scuffed up and it's because he's learning or she or they are learning from their past mistakes. They're learning from their past experiences that they've gone through and the past places that they've put their will and perhaps even because if you we move forward and consider the ten of wands the ten of wands is this duaholic it's like we're doing so much that we just kind of run ourselves over the hill you know because we can't see where we're going and this is just a step back from that so this is making us and calling us to look at where we put our action where we put our will and to consider where we've done that in the past that hasn't worked out because it will help steer us to where we are going. You know, I was listening to this compilation of Oprah, Oprah interviews last night. And one thing that she said is that consider failures are just the universe's way of steering you in the direction you are actually meant to go. And that's where we're all on our way to right now is under this deep transformation. We have a big uh, eclipse happening in a couple of days. Today is the 16th. We actually have a lunar eclipse on the 19th. So look for when that is happening um, in your time zone and consider that this is a big shift in time and what we're experiencing in our personal lives and wherever that axis of Taurus and Scorpio is in your natal chart is where you're going to see this new beginning and this revealing process come about. If you're interested in a reading, feel free to reach out to me. I send you so much love wherever you are and I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Mwah.